I believe this is the best Pakistani food I've had in my life. Is this the best Pakistan restaurant in Budapest? Today we're gonna try amazing foods from Saika restaurant in Budapest. Welcome to this video. This is a new concept where we're gonna go around and try some amazing restaurants all over the world. Today we are in Budapest District 9. We are in Ferenc Kerut and today we're gonna try Saika Pakistan restaurant. I'm so excited. It looks so good and the smell out here on the street is amazing. <laughs> So here we are at Saika, which is an Urdu for taste, I believe. Amazing. We have all these dishes here. We're gonna try to taste and find all the flavors. How would you describe the Pakistan kitchen compared to like the Indian, the Asian? We have a lot of meat. Mm -hmm. compared to maybe Indian side of the kitchen a lot more because of the religious differences they are less likely to employ as much meat as we do at the same time Central Asians employ as much meat sometimes even more than us but they don't employ the spices so you would say that Pakistan has north, west, east yes and we have north, south, west, east, south uh, combinated together yes they are combinated flavors. together exactly yeah. and they get mixed up very well yeah. and the range is wider that makes the range wider Maybe some countries have bigger ranges, but the point is the consistency is not as wide. It's yeah. consistent, yeah. but they flow like vertical, like I just explained. So they have meat, but no spice. Then they have spice, but less meat. For us, it's, it goes in a horizontal and vertical. It's like a, what to say, not just a horizontal growth, but also a vertical growth. As if we are going up and wide, like a flower, sure, sure, sure. blossom. So, Generally, if you go to Pakistan, you'll not struggle with food or spice. You just have to let the person know. You're vegetarian, you're vegan, you love spicy, you eat chicken. Everything is there. Someone for everything. Yeah. There is something for everyone, yeah. First, let's start with some starters. We have um, a uh, samosa, a classic samosa here. So here's the samosa with potatoes and onions. Quite a lot of spices, a bit spicy actually. Deep fried, very good texture, a bit wet still. An explosion of different spices. Wonderful little um, appetizer, I would say. <laughs> so if you didn't like the samosa, you can also try the pakora, classic pakora with some um, mint chutney. It's also with um, potatoes and onions. A bit more um, tough consistency as compared to the other one, it's not so deep fried. It's not with this kind of red textures and the other one, it's more raw. You can see all the pieces put together. It's a bit more spicy, actually very, very delicious. My personal favorite is still the uh, samosa, but this is also very, very good. Here we have the beef nihari. It's a um, very interesting dish. In uh, Pakistan, you often eat this for breakfast. It's quite interesting. We wouldn't do this so much here in Europe, but it's, it looks very, very good. You have um, some lemon, some roasted onions, some lime, and some mint. So it's some kind of beef soup. Let's try it. It's wonderful. An explosion of different flavors. So this beef nihari has been cooked for many hours. It's amazing how tender it is. The meat just falls off. When you when you chew it, it's very very tender. And as he said, this is the thing with Pakistani food. It's a lot of meat, and it's very very good. The flavors are so intense. It's a bit strong, but I mean, I asked a friend of mine, why would you eat this for breakfast? And he said, you know, you get all these proteins and everything you need for a day of work. So it makes sense. I just have to get used to it. I think it's very good. I could eat, eat this for breakfast every day. Of course, you can also eat it like a soup. A thick soup, but very good. So much flavor. Mm. So the next dish we're gonna try is the curry pakora. It's similar to the other one we got, the pakora that was the appetizer. This has some kind of curry sauce, which you can um, eat. It's also with yogurt, so it's not vegan, it's vegetarian. But let's try it. Wow, it makes a total difference with all this um, yogurt and curry and spices. It's a bit spicy, but also very mild. I mean, I don't know how you are so good at mixing up all these combinations of different flavors. It's just very, very good, and you can eat it with naan too. 
it's actually a bit smoky in a way. I don't know why. I think it's like that. I prefer this much over the um, normal pakora. The curry pakora is the best. It's very, very delicious. There's no wedding, there's no birthday, but we're still getting biryani. This is um, a dish that I'm very fond of, and it's one of my favorite dishes in Pakistan and Indian and Bangladeshi food ever. It's a dish that is um, taking some time to prepare. We did a video about this too, right here. And um, this is a Pakistani biryani. What I mean by saying Pakistani, I mean that they use whole chicken thighs with the bone. This is not so casual. Normally they would use breast or anything else, but in Pakistan kitchen they want to have all all their juices and sauces. So here is with bone. Wow. The yani can get very, very dry and too spicy. But this one is uh, really different. It's still very, let's say, wet and uh, very, very, very delicious with a lot of spices, but in a more like half yummy way. Very good. This is at least one of my favorite biryanis in Budapest, to say the least. I don't know if it's a sin, but I would prefer to use a fork and a spoon to eat this, but I know that you often want to get your hands greasy and dirty and eat with your fingers. I mean, maybe it's better to eat it natural. Or with some naan, at least. It's pretty good. Mm. Looking at the menu card, you see that most dishes are priced very, very fair. Looking at these prices, you know, you can see a chicken curry is only 1,500 forints, which is around 4 euros. Let's say a beef palak with spinach is around 2,000 forints, which is around 6 euros. And um, the owner of this place said that the reason behind it is so that people, for example students or people with less money, they uh, could afford to go out and have amazing meal and experience a new food culture they never tried maybe and I mean that's the reason why we live to eat food taste the world different cultures I think this is a very good concept and you know you can also get the biryani for only six euros I mean wow it's a very very good price well priced this is the beef kima. The one of the number one biggest differences from the Indian and the Pakistan kitchen is that the inclusion of beef. Because as we know in India, the Hindu religion doesn't use beef. But in Pakistan they use beef for quite a lot of dishes. This is just minced beef, beef kima. Uh, okay. It's very sweet and it reminds me of pizza topping. It's also the inclusion of potatoes in this one. I was surprised because I thought it was going to be some kind of very totally different flavor and much much more um, spicy dish. But this is more savory and very sweet. It reminds me of some kind of Italian beef sauce kind of thing. It's pretty good. Uh, I I mean, I'm not so good at eating like this. I nearly don't get any food up in it. It tastes very, really, very good, very sweet, but um, not as I expected. This is the final dish of the main dishes. Most people's favorite, it's a chicken korma, where you have this amazing tomato gravy, lots of spices, and you also have full chicken thighs. So with the bone and everything to get all the juices, the Pakistan way. I think we should dig into this and um, experience Saika's chicken korma. I expect a lot from this. I believe this is the best Pakistani food I've had in my life. Honestly, I could sit and just eat this gravy without anything. It's perfect. It's the definition of perfectness. If you ask me if I could become vegetarian after eating this, I would say never in my life. And I mean it. It is so amazing. This combination of meatiness, tomatoes, flavors, mint, everything, some ginger. Everything just combined makes this pool of 
what heaven would be like if it was a dish. Chicken korma and saika has a special place in my heart now, and I don't know what I would do if I couldn't go here and eat this food. Most of these dishes we are trying today, they have here every day, but also a few of them, like the uh, nihari, we got the breakfast dish. It's only on Sundays, because on Sundays they try to boost the spices a bit, so it's a bit more spicy, because a lot of um, Pakistani people come here on Sundays. But they have a few extra dishes only on Sundays, so if you come and want some extra special Pakistani food, come here on a Sunday. It's, I totally recommend it. As you can hear with all the background noise, um, a lot of people are here. And it's like this every day nearly. So I recommend coming here earlier because otherwise you cannot get any seating. Come here early. I can hereby say that Saika, which means taste, has one of the best tasters of Pakistani, Indian food in Budapest. So far, let us know where we should go next and let us know if we should try something else. In there, there's an amazing spirit. People are nice, very friendly. Today there was a lot of tourists. Normally there's also a lot of Pakistani people. It was wonderful. Thanks for watching. Please check out Saika here in uh, Ferein Skarut, District 9 in Budapest. And uh, tell them if you like the food, because I did. I raised it to top amazing food. Thanks for watching.